Hello, Josh Stevens here, Head Geek at SolarWinds. We talked a lot recently about IPSLA. Now, Cisco IPSLA is a cool technology that allows you to leverage the routers and switches already deployed in your network to have them do network testing and performance analysis for you. It's a great alternative to deploying probes and appliances out on the network that would do a similar function at a much higher cost and a larger footprint. Now, when it comes to IPSLA, as you start investigating the technology, one of the first questions people ask me is which operations you should use and what IPSLA operations are. Let me go ahead and talk about that now for a few minutes. There are many different types of IPSLA operations available, and as you can see from the slide I have in front of you, depending upon which version of iOS, some of these operations may or may not be available. Now, what you'll want to do is pay special attention to the version of iOS you have and which hardware you have available and see which operations you could leverage. Now, alternatively, the easy way to do this is go to cisco.com slash go slash fn for the feature navigator and use it to tell you what you can do and which versions of iOS you would need for the operations you want. But I still haven't answered the question of, okay, of all these operations, well, which one are the most important and what should I actually do to understand my own network? When it comes to IPSLA operations, the top four I've listed here are really the most important four for network performance monitoring today. First off is the ICMP echo operation. Now when you think about it, when someone calls you from a remote site and says they're having a network problem, maybe they call you and say they can't get to Google or Salesforce.com or some other website, one of the first things you usually do as a network engineer is you tell Net or SSA to the router in that site and then ping from there. What ICMP echo allows you to do is to have the routers and switches at these sites constantly run tests doing pings from their locations and reporting back to the router the response time, the latency, and the success of that echo request. Now once you've done that, an application like the Orion IPSLA manager would actually pull that data into Orion so you can use it to see how that data has been changing over time, send you alerts if there's a problem, and things of that nature. The second operation that you want to pay special attention to is a UDP jitter operation. Now UDP jitter really allows you to measure round trip delay, one way delay and one way jitter and one way packet loss and if you have an IPSLA responder on the other end you can get two way. What this really means is the amount of this jitter is the variation in latency from packet to packet. And so UDP jitter lets you understand for certain applications that are latency sensitive or loss intolerant, like voice over IP, it lets you understand how those applications might be reacting on the network from that particular point in the network in time. Remember, the real key of IPSLA is you're testing from the routers and switches deployed throughout the network and not just from a single point on the, where the NMS is usually located. The third operation is the HTTP operation. Now, the HTTP operation is really pretty cool because it does several things. First of all, it allows you to test success of loading a web page or accessing a web server from many different locations on your network. And accessing websites is one of the most common things your users will do, and of course, one of the most common things they'll complain about if it's slow or not working correctly. The HTTP operation also breaks down that transaction into network latency, DNS response time, and the time it took to actually open the connection with that server so you can see where the delay is occurring. This can be invaluable as an asset when troubleshooting performance problems on your network. Now the fourth one, in terms of prioritizing these operations, is TCP Connect. TCP Connect is useful because it's sort of like the HTTP connection, but it allows you to specify the port you're connecting on and simulate what you're actually doing with a TCP-based application across the network. Now, I've also listed the other operations that the first version of the Orion IPSLA manager supports. Those other operations are UDP echo, FTP, DNS, DHCP, and the voice over IP UDP jitter. Now, all of these operations are available today in the Orion IPSLA manager, which is a great application to leverage as a part of Orion and your general overall fault and performance management strategy. Let's go ahead now and take a look at that product real quickly while we're here. When you look at the Orion IPSLA manager, one of the things you'll notice right away is you can actually put statistics for the UDP, excuse me, for the IPSLA operations right on the map, which makes it really, really easy to see where you're having performance problems just at a glance. Now, all the different IPSLA operations we mentioned, of course, can be used within the IPSLA manager and can be used to provide top 10 lists and daily dashboards to show you where you're having performance problems on the network. Now, it's not only, again, not only where in terms of which applications and which protocols, but where geographically, which sites are having problems where you need to take action on. We also provide some special views for some applications that are especially uh, noteworthy when it comes to network performance like web applications and voice over IP. 
Now the IPSLA manager also dynamically configures IPSLA for you on the routers and switches. And so you don't have to go in and do that by hand. To do that, simply click uh, Manage IPSLA Nodes and then promote your devices to be SLA, IPSLA devices. Once you've done that, begin to add IPSLA operations by following through the wizard here within the Orion application. And it will ask you which types of operations you want to configure, and then which devices you want to roll it out on, and in what style. And it will do that all for you dynamically behind the scenes. Alternatively, you can, of course, configure them by hand using a CLI, and import those operations into Orion. Again, this has been Josh Stevens, head at Solar Winds, talking today about some key IPSLA operations to keep in mind and how important IPSLA is in managing network performance in today's network environments. You can download a copy of the Orion IPSLA Manager today from SolarWinds.com. Try it out for yourself. It installs in less than an hour. Very, very easy to use. And let us know if you have any feedback. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot and have a great day.